tell me your name. My name is Damian Taylor. Damian Taylor. Yes. And you, are you, it says here on your tag that you're a filmmaker. And the name of your movie is Anchovies. It is, it is. And I'm the producer on it. The director had to step out, and uh, but it was a, an incredible uh, experience shooting. And what What is it about? Tell me about uh, this. Anchovies is about a genderqueer boy uh, meeting their uh, father's girlfriend for the first time after the mysterious death of his mother. Uh, so it's about a little bit about hard-won respect and, uh, and connection. And it's a short. Right? It's a short, 17 minutes. So it's part of the trans uh, short program that starts uh, tomorrow at 11. I have a ticket for that. Oh, good. And you know, I, uh, I want to try to see maybe I better let me film the discussion afterwards. I've done that in a few films. Okay. And I'm really looking forward to that. And also, the trans is trans list. There's yes, the, I want to see that as well. That's I have a at ticket five. For that yes, as well. yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, being a boy, the one about the the boy is a real man. The one that becomes a rock musician is a, tra a trans. Yes, yes, yes. The two. Yes, yes, yes. as well. Yeah, lots well, of trans. Trans okay. is in the air. Trans right. is trans trending. Trans is in the air. So <laughs> and show me now. T tell me, do you have and when you have a short, so I mean, a lot of these shorts are really ideas for bigger movies that you are essentially hoping will, people will see and say, hey, that's something to really make into a real movie. I, no offense to shorts, <laughs> but I'm a documentary maker myself of sorts. So do you have hopes that how do you how does this work is this exposure in a film festival does it give you a platform or is it push, is it a thing of networking or well it's it's all of that you mentioned and yes we're hoping wishing and praying that it would get that the message kind of comes across and as we heard from our um, our star uh, M Grosland uh, who identifies as they uh, who will not be here for the premiere because they are having their top surgery um, but the film isn't about a good trans. friend of mine had ah okay his yes. top surgery. Yes, yeah. Um, but the film isn't about trans, uh, so, and M was kind of delighted that the focus was about the acting and the piece of the story, and not necessarily trans, but that we had a trans actor as part of it, which, um, you know, as you know, um, Lorraine Cox and others are sort of coming forward. It, it was, you know, it's interesting, like Handsome Devil, the filmmaker talks about how the interest was really, it was, they never kissed the two main leaders. You don't know who really is a handsome devil. But it's a story about friendship. Oh. And, and you know, a lot of the movie I saw the uh, Akron, and that's a story about family relationships. Absolutely. About the problems you're running into, you're dating a boy, and there's a problem with the parents. Yes. You know, yes. the parents' problems become the couple's problems. Yes. So what you're telling me is that I think this is so important to get beyond this coming out stories of gay people or mm -hmm. the angst or the or the horrible difficulties because you know, there's so much of interest to be explored when you have especially i assume since you do have friends that have transitioned when you like my friend it's been such an education for me because i never had any idea you know like they, they, they test off to run and i said I can't believe how I feel towards women. I almost made a pass at a woman at work today. I said, don't do that, you'll get fired. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's so funny. I, I know people that have also transitioned and they, they miss the sisterhood of being with a woman and they see that now what they are men, the women lock the door knock as they walk down the street. There's so much to be explored in the in understanding of what male and female is about and people who are trans or homosexual and trans or however you want to mix it because 25% of trans people are really heterosexuals. I mean they go from being supposedly cis females but they really always consider themselves to be heterosexual men. They've always been interested in thinking of themselves as men and they've always been attracted to women and they, they don't, they even have an issues sometimes they don't identify as lesbians and when they become straight men they, a friend of says, his good friend says, oh, let's go out to a lesbian bar. And he says, but we're not lesbian. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a lesbian, you know. <laughs> then I tell straight people, so if you're a, a, a lesbian, you know, a, fem a female, who's attracted to other females, mm -hmm. you have a sex change operation, you go from being a lesbian to being a straight man. You know, well, I, I, I can't speak to that. Uh, I know, but I'm just saying, piece, but yes. what I'm saying is that these are the issues. What I'm trying to tell you is that every time I go through a routine like that with straight people, they all say, they all get confused, and they said, oh, wait a minute, now, 
say, explain that to me again. Sure, sure. Because people have so much confusion, they don't separate gender from sexual orientation, mm -hmm. and they're two totally separate things. And I'm looking forward to your movie. It's, again, what's the name? Anchovies. Anchovy. And is there any other place besides this film short? Uh, that you'll be able to see it, the one tomorrow? So far, uh, on Tuesday, Tuesday at, um, at 3 p.m., also yes. here, same, Theater 7. Okay, and it's how many shorts are being shown in that selection? Six uh, will be shown in the Trans Shorts program, and uh -huh. we're number five. Okay, well, I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you.